learning about exercise and stuff like that. How was that journey for you? Well, when I got hurt at Chafee, I mean, they told me I was never going to run again, mm. never going to jump again. What injury did you have? I tore every ligament in my knee, uh, broke my patella tendon. Mm. It was bad. It was like horrible, like Marcus Lattin. Yeah, tell you. crazy. Yeah. So my goal was just to prove the doctor wrong. Right. So I started gaining research. This is even before I even considered about being a personal trainer. Mm. I was just trying to get myself right. Right. So I started learning about anatomy, physiology, about the muscles. And I ended up like you know getting myself strong again mm. by myself. So that low key was putting your subconscious like, uh, that personal training stuff with the school by you doing your own research. That was already in the back of your mind. Exactly. So by the time you got to the Sousa, it was like that's yeah. you already knew what you wanted to go into. School was easy then. Right, I already exactly. had been doing. I was like, oh, this is what right. I'm doing. Cause I knew what I was doing, but I didn't know like the book part of it. Oh, okay, you know, I, see what you're I was doing my research on it. And I was applying, it. right? And I'm more of a hands-on learner anyway. Mm -hmm. So by doing that from the jump, once I start focusing on school, I start killing it, right? Cause I mean, I was like a high school like FD, mm -hmm. <laughs> college, probably barely passing, right. you know, until I got hurt. Then it was like A's and B's. Had nothing else to do, but but uh, do your schoolwork. Nothing but do schoolwork. Study yeah. all. You gotta do something, man. Right. Sink or swim out here. Exactly. Yeah. Did you have um, a passion for it, or you was just kind of doing it because it interests you at the time? I think I, at the time, I was just, I always thought I was going to NFL, so I was mm -hmm. like, I'm just going to be bigger, stronger, and faster. Right, so you're trying to learn the ins and outs of that whole thing. ins and outs of that, yeah. Mm -hmm. So when did you, because now it seems like um, hearing you talk a little bit off camera, it seems like you really love your job now. Oh yeah, I'm you know, so, and, so how when did you build that passion for it? When I built the passion for it? Mm -hmm. like, when did the passion come along with, with the personal training? I think once I started understanding that I could help other people. Mm -hmm. You know, when you start like helping other people, you actually help yourself as well. Right. I started like, you know, you for instance, like you was like a person that was going with me right when I was just had got hurt. Right. You exactly. seen the whole recovery, but in the mm -hmm. process of me building myself up, you got built up. Right, exactly. You gained twenty pounds. Right. I, like, oh, shit, man, I might know what I'm talking about. Right, exactly. And the next person, I had people who was, you know, walking with a limp, walking mm -hmm. up straight. People who back hurt, their back not hurting no more because their core getting stronger, their right. getting stronger. You know, I start learning about like the like this guy actually impacted people's right, lives. Exactly. You know? And that was your biggest your inspiration for it. Yeah, you gotta leave some here, you know? Right, exactly. You know, I, I definitely feel you because, like you said, man, like, um, a lot of times when you see stuff firsthand, you kind of get a different perspective on it. You know, so when you go through a significant injury like that, and you are looking into the background of, like, the ligaments and the muscles and stuff like that, a lot of times when people do the personal training, that's their first time learning about it. Right. So I feel like you had low-key more of an edge over your competition, per se, because you was been studying it off the injury. Definitely. You know what I mean? So that already set you up ahead of everybody else in the class. So you looking like, y'all right. just learning this? I've been doing this. Right. Even then, it's like, y'all not even taking this serious. Right. I'm actually exactly. passionate right. about exactly. this. What, yeah. what more can I learn? Right. I want to actually learn and apply this. Right. You know? Once I quit playing football, it allowed me to like, okay, let me really sit up in here. Because mm -hmm. I was really trying to learn after I got hurt, mm -hmm. even before I went to Azusa. But mm -hmm. then I really was like, I mean, football cool, but I'm really, I was never in football because I love football. I was always in football just to so take care of my family. Right. That's what people don't know. Like, Which is a lot of times, a lot of people, that's a, a lot of people's mindsets on you. You know what I mean? Like people come from you know, impoverished areas or, you know, not so great backgrounds. They only goal is to get my family out. Right. And we're taught, you know what I mean? As young black kids, the quickest route to the money is through entertainment. Right. Whether that be sports or rapping or right. whatever, you know what I mean? They don't tell you like, you could actually do this school thing too and be set up instead of a, a, a three to five year career in the NFL, you could have a 30 year career doing uh, being a doctor. Come on, man. <laughs> I hope y'all are y'all hearing this. <laughs> like, this, is, this is real. You know what I mean? So it's right. like we're not we don't get taught the long term. You know what it is? They thought, oh that's a that's a nerve. Oh, exactly. They're yeah. trying to be smart, yeah. they're trying to be different. Yeah. Oh. I'm like, what? No, you shut up. Exactly. It's getting better. Exactly. And it's like a lot of times. People don't realize you could do both. You could do both, yeah. Cause I know a lot of people um, in the NFL. There was one dude who retired and went to become a brain surgeon or something like that. Come on, man. It's it's funny because I'm I'm, I'm always wondering what cultivated that culture for him. Right. Like, with who who put him on yeah, that? Yeah. I mean, he must have been doing that way back in his back. He had been doing that earlier. Yeah, oh, for sure. This wasn't you know. Sure. You got to accept it in the med school. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You, know? you got to have the grace for yeah. it. Yeah. All that. So that was already a top notch. That yeah, was already yeah. something he was already thinking yeah. about. I think 
we got to start using football more as a tool preaching to open doors. Right. Just like, okay, if I can play football and this helps me go to a UCLA, well, let me, along with my, I have a goal of going to the NFL, but let me network with as many people as possible at these universities so when I get into my career, now I can talk to A, B, and C to open up avenues for myself. That way I'm not just stuck like, now I don't go to the league, now what? Now what? You know what I mean? Because a lot of times I see a lot of people they put all the eggs in the basket and they done tripped on the way to the market. Man, now, now, they, now, they, now they don't know what to do. Most people I graduated with didn't know what they was going to do. Football players. And this was at D2 because this was not even a D1. Exactly. And it's like, man, they didn't prep us for doing like nothing. internships. Nothing. nothing. And, and a lot of times when you're an athlete, they don't teach you that at all, anything. You don't have time. You know, and, and besides, even in school now, it's like, they really don't even teach you the economic side of America anyway. No, no financial literacy. You know what I mean? I learned all that after school. Exactly, yeah. exactly. So when we play football, like you said, there's no time to learn nothing else no. but football. And nowadays you got people doing seven on seven year round, training year round. You know what I mean? Kids aren't even allowed to really be kids no more. But at the same time, if you don't do that stuff, now you behind. Now you behind, yeah. Because all the kids are done. Exactly. Yeah. But at the same time, if they were if they were to apply themselves in school as well, I almost think it's more beneficial for the, the even the black kid or any kid to apply themselves more in school because mm-hmm. I mean your brain is gonna last forever. Your exactly. body is not. Exactly. Yeah. Like the body, I can go beat the body up. Mm-hmm. I'm 50 years old. I'm, a, I'm a, everything that happened to me right now. I'm mm-hmm. feeling when I'm 50. Right. My brain is still getting exactly. smarter and smarter every day. I'm yeah. Plus, home. you done learned about all that stuff in your schooling anyway. So now you really know, like, man, if I would have stopped playing. X amount of time ago, like, come on, man. Cause you didn't, you got hurt, but you kept continuing, I like you said, to put the doctors wrong. Right. So imagine if you got hurt and you'd be like, okay, let me sit Switched back and the think. Whole thing. Exactly. Cause when did you graduate from school for to be a personal trainer? Uh, 2017. 2017. I got hurt in 2013. See, four years of. Four years. You know what I mean? You could already have been established. Definitely. You know what I mean? In 2017, with your own stuff. Right. You know what I mean? Not playing no sports. You're not playing no sports at because all. I became a, a good student. I could have learned anything. Exactly. And a lot of times they don't tell they don't tell athletes that. They don't tell athletes you could do anything. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? They tell athletes, oh you can be the best football player, you can be the best basketball player, you can be the next LeBron, Mike. Right. You know what I mean? <laughs> like they don't tell you you can right. be the next. That's why LeBron's like, we don't need more LeBrons. Right, we don't, we don't need more LeBrons. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We need more doctors right. and we need more doctors. Man. All type of stuff that's going to really progress us. Like, man. You know what I mean? So it's like, like I said earlier, we got to start using sports as avenues. For you sure. know what I mean? That's why I respect LeBron so much because he's playing basketball, but he's opening schools. Mm-hmm. He's opening transportation systems. Jesus. You know what I mean? He's giving back to the community. He knows. Getting, exactly, because he knows it's, it's only 1% chance. It's momentary, too. It's momentary, too, exactly. Now, you're not guaranteed a 17 year career. No. You know what I mean? Like, an NFL is what, two, three year average? Yeah. NBA is like four or five year average. So it's like, when you graduate, you're going to be what, 21, 22? In four or five years, you're 26, 27. You haven't even really hit the prime of your life yet. I'm challenging people to, while we're competing so much in athleticism, we should start competing in the classroom. Like you should tell you should feel the same way you feel some way when somebody beat you in the sprint, or I live right. you should feel that way when they get a better grade. Right, right, exactly. Like where are we going to? It's 2020, it's coming right. up, you know what I mean? Exactly. When are we gonna go to the next level? I love-